My name is Gabriela Lopez and I manage a database of tropical forest data collected around the world. We wanted to find a solution to give something back to the people who have uh, collected data, tropical forest data for many years, data that help us understand how tropical forest works. We found we were looking for a solution and we think that assigning digital object identifiers to the data sets will help us do that. Nine years ago, I started working in, in forestplus.net working uh, to provide an online application, something that can be used from researchers around the world and just go there, click, and then they can view their, their beautiful data that has been collected in the field. We actually go and measure each individual tree that's in a given area. Usually it's one hectare. And then what we do is we measure the diameter at a given height. So you can say that we're professional tree huggers. So we also look at the height of each individual tree and the species name. So with the height, with the diameter, and with the species name, you can use this information to calculate how much biomass for a plot and a forest is accumulating. And as we do this every few years, go back and revisit the same trees in the same place, we can see how the, the forest is growing and how the forest is changing. We thought about giving digital object identifiers to our data sets because that's a way of tracking, finding the source of where the data came from, mainly because there's lots of data generated and people for, felt that the data was being used but it wasn't acknowledged properly. We started assigning DOIs this year and so far we have about five or six papers who have DOIs. There's lots of publications out there and you don't know where the data comes from. And also sometimes it, some of the debates that come is like, misinterpretations about what's being published in a paper. But I think this could be easily clarified. If the data is there, you can rerun the same analysis and see if you come to the same conclusions. Everything's transparent. I contacted the Leeds University Research Data Management Group, asking them for their advice on how we proceed about signing DOIs to our data sets. The Leeds University Library decided to support us, forestplus.net, as a case study and contact the British Library and do all the paperwork so we can get uh, the DOIs. Once we found out about the requirements for, for assigning DOIs, we made sure that we could comply with all of them and the application was very straightforward. It was easy working with the British Library because I guess we had the support from Leeds University who, who were the intermediate. At the beginning of the year, we had a, a very important paper coming out. It was um, a paper that looked at the difference between two published satellite maps, one from NASA, and how the maps that they produce compared to maps produced with data from field campaigns, from plot data, from data that's on the ground. And of course, we knew that this was going to be a bit of a controversial issue, but we also wanted to make sure that everything was transparent. And part of the transparency in research is making the data that was used for the paper publicly available. This was the first time in a research group that when you look at the paper, it says the data comes from and it has the DOI. So it's very clearly stated where the data is and how to access it, which I think is going to make a difference. And this should be standard practice. 